Herb Kelleher said that to understand how valuable something is, he would try to imagine himself without it. And today, the aviation industry is without a true pioneer. The founder and longtime CEO of Southwest Airlines has passed away. He was 87. In the 1970s, Kelleher took four planes and he had an idea when he built the largest airline in the United States, indeed one of the largest airlines in the world, Southwest Airlines. The moral and the, the uh, principle was simple, keep the fares low and keep the spirits high, it was the motto. As for Keller himself, besides always perpetually smoking, he never, it was, you never saw him without a cigarette in his mouth. He was known for his big laugh and putting employees ahead of profits and never being afraid to act the fool to grow his own business. At Southwest Airlines, we want our passengers to spend their time in the air, not on the ground. That's why we invented the 10-minute turnaround. Our planes pull into the jetway, board passengers, and pull out again in 10 minutes or less. The way we look at it, the quicker you're in the air, the quicker you get where you're going. Southwest Southwest had cheap tickets and it didn't assign seats until boarding. The whole plane was coach class. The object was to get as much use from the aircraft as you could. Single destinations, no, bag, no interlining with other carriers, all the hallmarks of the low-cost carrier. And there was also, of course, glitz in the cabin that helped grow the brand. Remember what it was like before there was somebody else up there who loved you? There was no such thing as executive class service to Dallas, Houston and San Antonio. With first class leg room, free cocktails for everyone, and a schedule you could depend on. Remember? 